the recovery is actually starting with a quarter four or five point six percent. So recovery is starting. That recovery is premised on the policies that the government has taken. That recovery is going to be to create a very strong momentum. Now, the second thing is that we notice that however much we try to talk about the strategy to resolve the euro board, there was always a, some doubt. Why was there some doubt? A big portion of the market, especially our microstructure of the market, believed that the government would still go to the market to buy, board, to buy dollars to effect payments of the euro board. And that is why all of a sudden the market coordinated itself to speculate on the dollar and they were buying as many dollars as possible to try and uh, benefit from the time the government goes into the market. But I also found that when we were looking at where is the activity after the euro board, it was actually in the forex bureaus. It was not uh, for those people holding dollar accounts. So in a sense, they were bidding the price. Now, the second part of it is that also potential investors would not come to Kenya because they are actually saying we cannot invest in that country because they have not resolved the euro bond. So the market was acquiring what I would describe as a waiting option. You resolve the euro board and then let's come. So we needed a mechanism to dislodge the market from that waiting option. And that is why entering the market was very, very important. In fact, when we were doing the roadshows, I was describing it as let, let us deal with the elephant in the room. So in a sense, we say let's try to de-risk uh, this euro board and then we will see how foreign direct investment uh, cases and even the exchange rate, how it will respond. And we have seen that it has responded very well. Now, there are three advantages for us entering the market. First, the information was processed appropriately and it reflects what we had anticipated. So there are no gaps now. But the second thing is that we get refinancing and even now we can supplement with the measures that we wanted to get to do, Your Excellency, but the buyback is still an option now because we got 1.5. Uh, and then it means that we still have to provide the five, uh, five, 500 million. But by the third one is that we actually managed to restructure the maturity profile of future payments instead of having a bullet payment of two billion because that is what was moving the market. Two billion for that country called Kenya, everybody anticipated that you cannot pay and even the other side of the politics was saying they are going to default, just a matter of waiting. But even internationally, when there is a coup in Niger, the euro board price uh, interest rates will jack, isn't it? it? So it means the market was not very well coordinated. So, but for us, we want to make sure that in future we are not beaten again by having such heavy ticket in terms of maturity. That is why we actually went for amortization in the last three years of equal amounts. In this case, 3,500, 500, 500. And which also plugs itself in years that we don't have other maturities. So that maturity profile is very, very important to actually in the future for two reasons. One, it can be seen that it's a maturity we can manage. And two, we can actually now start igniting a very strong liability management that is going to help us uh, move in that direction. We are now in, an, in, a, very, uh, in a more certain world Secondary, we are now flexible to use all the other instruments that we wanted to use. Third, the market has understood the, 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 the strategy. They are quiet now. Actually, we have no noise. And the noise in the exchange rate is actually uh, the positive noise. That is, it is appreciating. And the beauty about an appreciating currency in a floating exchange rate regime is that it, co it, it, it provides a temporary nominal anchor to domestic prices. So it means that it's going to push inflation down. And uh, even interest rates will come down and uh, we are going to actually have that period I would like to call a very vibrant period. Even during the road shows, there were investors who specifically said, yes, we are coming to ma the Kenyan market, but we are more interested in infrastructure bond. And we are also looking for future bonds. So foreign uh, FDI flows, we also see it putting pressure on the exchange rate to appreciate and for us, it's going to be positive. And um, 
All the other things I've talked about, a change rate adding to the cost of living, domestic liquidity will improve. All these are positives that are coming up. And uh, of course, the happy guy at the end of the day is the governor of the central bank because he's going to be building buffers, his uh, foreign exchange reserves, and building buffers for the future. For us, it is a happy ending. And for us, it's something that had given us uh, some uh, sleepless nights. Your Excellency, I think we can actually talk about a story that has come out very well. But it's also telling us if we trust the market in the right, the, in the right, uh, should I say, at the right day, the right day is the ma when market is also responsive to, the, to listen to your story, to listen to our story.